the sharpest meat on the run. Ryan, you're up. Okay, I'm here with my partner. As I begin to try to break the grip, he's gonna sit with me. As he come up here, I'm not even gonna allow him, I break. But that's right open for him to go and feed the lapel here. Right away here, his leg is free. I don't want him come up on the single leg. Grab his leg, control him here. So here he stop on the single leg. And then sometimes my partner, he tie me here that way that when I'm going to put him down, since I have no grip here, he enter to the deep half guard. So right away, I'm gonna try to put my knee down to not allow him to get this full control of the deep half guard here. I put my knee down. End up on the same position here as we were before. So I'm gonna bring my knee down. I begin to grab the grip here, right on the cross collar. But now, when I begin to try to make him go back to the other side, my opponent, it's really focused on keep his opposite, uh, his body on the same direction as you can see here even though that his hand is on the knee, and sometimes he can even free this hand here, like to keep a frame here to even stop my knee cut even more. So now look, what happened again here? He gained the force here. His hips, his low body, upper body is on the same direction. That's why they stopped me to really force him and bring him back to the other side. That's probably gonna one of the, 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 my favorite position to pass the guard, because it's very easy. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna go from the top hand, cross grip, I'm gonna find my thumb inside the collar. And then now I'm gonna cross my forearm all the way to the other side here. When my forearm begin to hit on the mat here, you're gonna see I open there. Then I'm just here, get on the mount position. Uh, when his hips is here, and then he's really forced, I, I'm not gonna be in this battle here of arm wrestling, you know, like I'm trying to really beat him with power, so I'm just gonna make him weak. And then one of the best ways to make him weak with the cross face. Cross face is a huge part of like a guard pass game, especially when you get on a half guard. So, cross the arm on top, thumb inside the collar. Now, my forearm is gonna cross. It's not on the middle of his face. I'm gonna find, you know, like a spot that, you know, like I can cross my arm and then I make him face all the way to the other direction. When I begin to do that, his Hips is begin to be weak, as you can see. Automatic, his leg is gonna be open, he's gonna be open, he's gonna be open. I'm gonna step over and then get on the mount position. 